Well, ladies and gentlemen, here we are once again. Another week of indoor football is ready for us all. And obviously, you know, first let's talk about the big stuff in the CIF first. Um, CIF playoffs were this weekend, and the championship game will be this weekend. Well, or rather last weekend, technically now. But it will be this July 17th weekend of the CIF championship game, Champions Bowl 6, where the Omaha Beef will take on the Salina Liberty, you know, the same Salina Liberty that has dominated the league the entire season. Yeah, that one. And there was a bit of controversy at the end of the Sioux City Omaha game to where, you know, there was a situation with a spiked ball and, um, you know, penalties were assessed and the refs, you know, just could not decide where to put the ball because they, they had, the penalty was correct, actually, the penalty was correct because you can't, can't be spiking balls and stuff in the stands if you're the visiting team because, let's face it, these balls are not that, you know, not that cheap, they're not, they're not hard to come by, um, but you can't, can't be throwing the ball into the stands and whatnot and everything like that, so Sioux City got really, really mad about that, they've been ranting and raving on Facebook and for the past, you know, couple days now, and, you know, there's, there's that, there's also the fact that Dodge City could be rebranding, potentially, I'm not sure, um, I didn't really watch all of that Salina game, you know, I only watched very little because, you know, the Liberty was beating up on Dodge City, so there was no point in really watching that game. But, yeah, um, my pick still remains the same. I think Omaha will play it tough this time, though. I will I will say it will be a tough matchup for the Liberty, though. But I think, you know, they'll, they'll pull it out over the beef. They'll, 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 they'll grill it. They'll grill their beef. They'll grill the beef. You know, grill them. And toss them, you know, in the trash because it's spoiled. Because the beef are not going to win the Champions Bowl six. So there's that. Um, IFL, we still do not know what the playoff situation is going to be. Some some sources have said six teams. Some sources have said eight teams. I do not know. I really do not know. It, it's not, like the IFL has to hurry up and verify this information. Playoffs are. Right around the corner, right around the corner. In a month, you gotta you gotta hurry up and verify this information. If you want to be, if you want to be, what people have been saying, you know, in, in these YouTube comments and everything. If you want to be the top organization in indoor football, you need to hurry up and get things done with that. You need to hurry it up and confirm, not 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 through you know, not through team personnel, everything like that. Not through play-by-play -play guys. Not through guys that are indoor football source news guys. We're talking the big guys at the top. You need to confirm what the hell is going on immediately. And, you know, because there's, there's definitely some teams in the IFL. You know, the IFL is pretty stacked this year. At least eight teams, I think, could win the title. You know, at least eight. You know, because every, every every team has their weakness. Even the even the ever so popular Arizona Rattlers, they have a weakness. They definitely have a weakness, and it showed against that in that game against Sioux Falls, you know, way back when. You know, but that was a while, that was a while ago. So, you know, but anyway, you know, Sioux Falls been struggling. Iowa's been struggling. You know, for my first go fighters, despite the fact that they, you know. Continue to give me a heart attack on a daily basis. They're doing good. Spokane's doing good. I mean, Bismarck and Green Bay, they're there. I mean, they could honestly, you know, take the cake and go to the playoffs themselves. But I mean, man, I'm telling you, stacked, stacked IFL. Stacked IFL this year. Stacked. Very stacked. In the NAL, um, yeah, yeah, that was a. Yeah, that was an interesting couple of games this weekend, I'll tell you that much, you know. I mean, I don't know what in the world happened to Jersey because they only scored 12 points against Orlando, and that game was pretty ugly, but the Jacksonville-Carolina game was pretty good, pretty good. I thought, I really thought Carolina was going to pull it out for a second there, but they didn't, and it's rather unfortunate for that. Because, um, I mean, I really thought they were going to pull it off. They were going to beat Jacksonville, put Jacksonville in the basement. 
but uh, there's only a couple weeks left in the season for the NAL, and right now, you know, right now, Jacksonville is looking pretty. They'd, they'd be facing Albany right now for the for that playoff spot, and they already beat Albany this year. You know, if the, if the playoffs were to start today, you know, boom, there you have it. You know, and you know, Columbus would take on Orlando, so you know, things getting pretty interesting. You know, Jersey's gonna have to pull something out. You know, the last couple weeks of the season, same thing with the Carolina Cobras. They're gonna have to pull something out. They want to get that fourth spot in the playoffs. And remember, playoffs for the AL start in August, first week of August, second week of August, second week of August, the the NAL championship game, and of course, you know that first week of August will be the semifinals. So, you know, and as far as lower tier leagues go, how about the San Antonio Baller? <laughs> uh, they, they, they're probably dead. Yeah, yeah, they didn't show up to that Idaho Horseman game. They didn't even show up. And now players are saying, oh, well, they folded. Now other sources are trying to say, oh, well, they didn't fold. They, they, they didn't even show up. It's a scam team. It's a scam team that took the name of the Valor without consent. So it's another one of those weird situations where it's like some shady stuff is going on. So apparently the Valor name was taken, you know, without the consent of someone I forgot who, but um, it's it's kind of a sticky situation. Players aren't getting paid, of course, so that that's nothing new in indoor football. That is literally nothing new. Players not getting paid, um, and the Baller they weren't going to be able to travel up to. They weren't going to be able to travel up there to Idaho anyway. I don't think they were going to be able to. You know, it would have been impossible. And I have no idea what the horsemen are doing. I have no idea what the AWFC is doing anyway. They're doing something stupid. Like I said last week, they're doing something stupid for their playoffs. So it is what it is. And you know, we just gotta, we just gotta keep it up. We just gotta keep up. You know, keep on looking at them, looking at them with disdain and scorn. You know, the AWFC. There's really nothing new out of the AAL, you know, after, you know, several teams have left and formed their own league. We don't really know how many teams are left because, I mean, I, I honestly don't know how many teams are left in the AAL. You know, the AAL is going to have to fix some things. They're going to have to fix a couple things, you know, um, to get it together. Indianapolis and um, Jersey is probably still in the league, but that's about it. Everybody else is probably wanting to leave. You know, Western Michigan, they're probably wanting to leave. North Texas and the San Antonio Gunslingers, they probably want to leave. Charlotte's already said they're going to leave, so everybody is going to try and leave. And, you know, you know other teams have already left, so there is what it is there. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all I got. Um, I don't really have anything else. You know, I'm still trying. I'm, we're, we're all trying to figure out what the, what the playoff situation with the IFL is. That's really the biggest thing that I could take away from this. You know, CIF season's about to be over, and so we can put them to rest. You know, they will have a interesting off season themselves because the Lone Star series is still going on, I believe, right now. But nobody's really updated anything about that. Uh, so I believe they were. I believe there was some games this weekend, but I'm not sure. Um, but yeah. So, yeah, CIF season is pretty much over, and AL is about to wind down as well. And the IFL has to figure out its situation. It really has to figure out its situation right now. Because if it doesn't, I don't. I really don't know. I really don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be sitting here angry until we figure out what this playoff situation is going to be. Because I, I really just don't know at this point. But yeah, that'll pretty much do it. Um, Y'all come on down in the comments section like y'all usually do. You know, chat it up with me. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Watch some of my other videos. And, you know, click the notification bell if you want to see some more stuff. And I will see you again soon with more sports content. Y'all take care. Have a good, have a good week. Week. Yeah, week. Yeah, have a good week. <laughs>